Hi everyone, Brian here. Just a short video talking a little bit further about uh, uh, Saint Felu de Barrera. Um, some of the work that I did this evening on this. So um, I noted last time that I thought that to get myself up to the lines here that I would need about two and a third bricks. And so I did in fact go through and I got all of those one third height bricks and line them all up across there. Now here on this section, I had a little problem where um, the bricks on this side were a little lower than the bricks on that side. So what I did there is I took a piece of um, uh, the extra cardboard from the building and I just cut off a couple of tiny pieces and I glued them underneath there so that that section um, rose up a little bit rather than this side bending down like that. I want it to be even. I want this to come across even and go straight across there. And so I wanted a piece here that was level. Um, and then it's okay if the, um, uh, if the stone wall across the landscaping is slightly lower. So I took care of that. Um, across the back here, I began to get a sense of what it was like to brick around this, and, and this is what it's like. Um, you want to take, uh, let me find a piece here. You want to find a piece that is essentially square, and then you want to come in and, and shape it like this and like this, so that you end up with a piece that's shaped like that so that you have an opportunity to actually bend these pieces around and have them stick out as little as possible. But even doing that, you're going to have to come in and you're going to have to sand around like this on them to get a nice smooth curve on there um, so that you get some, uh, you know, some sense semblance of, of skilled brickwork there rather than just having them very loose with a lot of gaps and a lot of uh, points coming out this way uh, that just doesn't look right. So the other thing I'll note from this evening, forgive the shaky cam this evening, it's easier to hold this to give you an impression of all of this. Um, the next question is, how do I raise up uh, the pieces of foam that they gave me to be the right level? So the way I did that over here is um, I just went rooting, in my case, I went rooting around the basement, and I found a bunch of pieces of Spanish cedar that I had for other purposes and cut them out um, because they looked like they were just about the right height to raise this up. And sure enough, when I put this piece in here, it really does raise it just about to the level I need there. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to take a piece, a piece of poster board and I'm probably going to cut it out um, using this as a template and lay it on top of here so that ultimately when I'm doing the landscaping, I'm not doing it on a piece of foam board. I'm doing it on a piece of cardboard like this. Um, I don't know if that's necessary, but it just feels like that would be the better thing to do here. Over on this side, I was able to take the other piece of foam and cut it out. And really, this is all the foam I had, is, is for this and this. They didn't give me enough foam to do layers on this thing. So then I took the, uh, just to get a sense of height, I took the pieces of foam that were left over from the cutting out, and I laid them under there to see if that would raise me up to the right height for the second level. And sure enough, it almost does. So that, that might work out okay. Um, I'm probably still going to find another way to support that up there. I may get some cardboard and some other pieces under there. Um, but the important thing is just to get enough pieces under here so that the fo foam is fairly stable there um, when you lay it down. So there you go. I'm playing around with the foam to try and get it level. 
I'm doing the first level of brickwork and being and starting to, to curve it around towards the back and get a sense of um, what's involved in doing these two apses back here. Um, this one is going to be a little more complicated than this one is, and we'll see how that goes. And then you come all the way around the back here, and you ultimately end in a stone wall here that comes all the way up to cover that landscaping. So I'm working my way through that, and I probably, to give you a sense, oh, I've probably got three hours now into to three layers, two and one third layer of brickwork around one side of this. Um, so like all of these models, it's going to be a long process. Um, but again, get yourself a podcast, get yourself a radio, uh, get yourself a television if that's what you do. And this is a great way to spend the time uh, just carefully putting pieces in one by one and uh, or, heck, uh, get rid of all of those things and just spend some time with your thoughts. Uh, so many people, so few people do that these days. It might be a good opportunity. So anyway, that's where I am. That's what we're doing. And I'll post another one soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.